Hi, in this video we'll be looking at cross elasticity of demand or XED and we can remember this XED abbreviation because an X is sort of like a cross so XED cross elasticity of demand. So what is this? Well it is a measure of how the quantity demanded of one good responds to a change in price of another good. So we've looked at price elasticity of demand and income elasticity of demand in previous videos, but this concept is slightly different because we're not just looking at one good anymore, we're looking at two different goods and how demand for one good changes when the price in another good changes. So we've written this definition out as an equation here and this is how we go about calculating our XED. So it'll be percentage change in quantity demanded of good one divided by the percentage change in price of good two. So again, we see that our quantity demanded is on the top and our other thing, which in this case is price, is on the bottom. However, we have a percentage change of our first good divided by our percentage change in price of our second good. So this is our XED equation. So as we've done in previous videos, we can now look at an example, but this example is a bit different again because we're going to basically run through two examples, example A and example B, just, just in order to illustrate a point. So let's imagine that the price of Xboxes increase by 10% in our economy. And as a result of this, this is going to make our demand for PlayStations increase by 5% and our demand for Xbox games is going to fall by 10%. So this would make sense, and we're going to discuss this more in the next video, but that our demand for PlayStations is going to increase because this is a substitute for Xboxes, so if we increase the price of Xboxes, more people are going to buy PlayStations, and our demand for Xbox games is a complement of Xboxes because you buy Xbox games alongside Xboxes. So if our price of Xbox increases, we might buy fewer Xbox games, just for the sake of this example. So our question is, of course, to calculate the cross elasticity of demand for each of these scenarios. So for part A, we're looking at the cross elasticity of demand of Xboxes and Playstations. And so if we use our equation, our equation written here, percentage change in quantity demanded of good one, is going to be our change in, well, quantity demanded of PlayStation. So this is our 5%. Remember, we use percentages when we're talking about elasticities. And then our percentage change in price of good two, which was obviously our 10%. So it's five over 10. So our cross elasticity here is 0 0.5. And a couple of things to note is that, well, we have positive increase in percent. So this 10 is a positive number and a positive increase here of 5% in demand. So our five is positive. So our cross elasticity is also going to be positive here. And as we said, Xbox and PlayStations are substitutes. So we will note that a positive XED means that our goods are substitutes, but we'll come into that in more detail in the next video. The part B of this question will be the cross elasticity between Xboxes and Xbox games. So again, we have our sort of demand for Xbox games falling by 10%. So we have minus 10% on the top and we have 10%, again, the change in price of Xboxes on the bottom. So our XED is just going to be minus one. Again, note that this is now a negative because we've had an increase in price of Xboxes, but a decrease in demand for Xbox games. So we have a negative value for our XED between Xboxes and Xbox games. And again, we will note that negatives, this is going to mean that our goods are complement goods because an increase in price of one is going to cause a decrease in demand for the other one. But again, as I say, a bit more detail on this in the next video, just for the sake of keeping this one brief as a quick introduction to XED. So I hope this was useful. Please leave a like if it was. Make sure to check out the playlist for the next video on this topic and subscribe to add some econ to your subscription feed.